Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite car accessories, the swamp cooler. What is it, and how does it work? And stay to the end so we can clear up some common, very dangerous misconceptions about these. Maybe you've been at a car show, there's a bunch of old cars pulling in, and one of them's got a mailbox on the side of it? What is that thing hanging off the window? Well, today we're going to talk about What is a swamp cooler? It's an air conditioner. But instead of using refrigerant, like a modern car, it uses water and evaporation to cool the vehicle down. Instead of charging the system with Freon, like a modern car, what you do is you wet a filter element inside the cooler. What is the pad? No, it's not straw. It's actually a wood fiber. The cell structure of this wood fiber is very good at capillary action and causes water to pull into all the crevices, making it very efficient at replenishing itself as air passes through it, evaporating the water. As air passes through the cooler, it evaporates the water out of the pad. The act of wicking the moisture out of the pad pulls the temperature out of the air. The molecules in the water in the pad actually have to be excited into evaporation. And to do so, they pull the energy out of the air. The energy in the air is in the form of heat. As it pulls that energy out, it actually reduces the temperature in the air. What is the side effect of this process? The air entering the vehicle does end up being more humid. The side effect of this is the fact that these coolers become less efficient the more humid it is outside. This leads us into one of our first misconceptions. A lot of people think you fill these with ice water. The problem with that is because these are an evaporative cooler, they work on the evaporation system. Evaporation has to do with the speed of the molecules. The cooler the water, the slower those molecules. From the research I've done, I've found it's best to have your water temperature at close to ambient as possible. Even with ambient water temperatures, I've been able to get 10 to 20% temperature drop down to freezing in moderate climate. For these facts, I would save ice loading and ice water situations for very humid days where there's not that much energy in the dryness of the air to cause a temperature drop. So having a cold air built up inside the chamber is gonna help your situation anyways. I'm Mr. White. This leads us into one of our first most dangerous misconceptions. And that's the use of dry ice in these swamp coolers. Dry ice is actually frozen carbon dioxide and it's not a good idea to be breathing this in. So don't think about putting dry ice into these coolers. Another danger with these coolers is not drying them out after use. Because they're a item that takes water and hold moisture, there is a risk for Legionnaires. So after you've used the cooler, make sure you empty the water out of it and put it in a airy spot, don't close it up, and make sure it dries out before you pack it away for the season. It's also a good idea to check out your filters every year and make sure they're not moldy and make sure you don't have any rodents that built a nest in there before you start using your cooler. And don't be fooled by fake plastic swamp coolers being sold on the internet. These have a fan inside and plug in and have no functional internals. All they do is transfer air from outside into your car, just the same as an open window. And they often cost more than the functional swamp coolers sold in the links below. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you're into swamp coolers as much as I am, or you need to get your hands on some parts for your swamp cooler, make sure to head on over to VintageSwampCoolers.com, follow the links below, get yourself some parts, get yourself a kit if you want to build your own swamp cooler, get yourself a built swamp cooler. Check out these videos below where I build some of the coolers, where I test them, where I install them. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Give this video a like. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time. So what is it? So what is it? It's a, so what is it? It's a swamp cooler. What is it? What is it? It's a swamp cooler.